Oh, I've been farming since about 1967, I think it was, when I left school. And we previously come from a mixed cropping farm with sheep and stock, and I'm not a stock person, so all I wanted to do was just grow crop. <laughs> and, to, and we want some better soil to grow crop on in a different irrigation system. So that's why we, we came here. Yeah, Maxine and I have been on the farm. She does all the paperwork. I'm a bit adverse to paperwork and don't like doing it. So it is a team effort and she's given me all sorts of encouragement to shift and do those things. So yeah, yeah and I couldn't be where I am today without it. Our local territory manager, David Weath, has worked with Eric for many years. And through this, they've formed a very close relationship. And it was really through this relationship that Eric was encouraged to have a go at the world record. We haven't sat still since 2017 when we achieved the, the previous world record. We've been basically monitoring what we've been doing. We've been looking at different varieties. Every year we sow three different varieties and just see how they go on the farm. So making sure that uh, there's no disease. Our insecticide programs are very robust. Also, we can't have competition, so our herbicide program's pretty robust. We've gone to liquid N or liquid nitrogen this last world attempt. And the reason for that was basically it gave us uh, uniform coverage across the whole field. The input I get from Bayer and Dave, David is just a lot of the crop agronomy inputs and the product, the right products to use at the right time. Our products aren't used entirely without others being used as well, but I think it does demonstrate some of the effectiveness of our products in um, controlling the pests and diseases and weeds that they can limit the yield potential of the crops. So to have our product used in, the, in a world record attempt that's successful is, is, is very great for Bayer in New Zealand. So 217 yield was uh, 16.791 tonnes to the hectare. Uh, this time around we've done uh, 17.398. Uh, so it's a lift of uh, 607 kgs. When I first started working in this job, we were getting four tonne of wheat per hectare and now we're you know, getting into the 17 tonnes. Now the future of arable farming is, in New Zealand is very good. You know, we're achieving higher yields per, per hectare or less, less area. So, I mean, that's always very sustainable and that's what's necessary in the world today because the world population keeps growing and New Zealand can play a part in that. So what it means to me personally to be involved with World Record is basically to show farmers that it can be done and um, that they should aspire to lift their own yields and that's what these records do, they show farmers that they can do better and people can achieve it on their own farm.